Hi, I'm Mark Lassoff with LearnToProgram.tv. Welcome to our new course, Objective-C Development. Now, in order to take this course, you should have already taken our course, C Programming, iOS Development Starts Here, or have equivalent experience. That means you know how to write basic C programs that include variables, loops, conditionals, and understand all the basics of the C programming language. We're not really going to be going over those here. We're going to be building on those C basics in order to create objective C programs. Now, I understand that most of you who are going to be participating in this course are here because you want to learn to create eventually either iOS applications for the iPad or the iPhone or you want to create Macintosh applications that run on the Mac platform. Either way this course is for you because anything you want to do either in iOS or in OS X both of the Apple platforms require understanding Objective-C. In order to take this course you need some version of Xcode. I'm using what's new as of the time of this recording, Xcode version 4.2. Now version 4.2 does require that you have Mac OS X version 10.7. If you have an older version of Xcode, for example one of the 3 point something versions, most of the code here is going to work just fine. You don't need to upgrade unless you want to. However, Xcode version 4.2 has a number of really good upgrades that are going to help you as you learn either iOS development or OS X development. So I'd recommend that you do upgrade at this time if it's at all possible. Xcode is available in the App Store. You can get to the App Store by going to your Apple menu and choosing App Store and then just searching for Xcode. The uh, download is, as of this time, very either very inexpensive or free. I think I paid four dollars and ninety five cents at some point. It's a pretty inexpensive uh, tool to download. Once you download it, go ahead and install it, and you'll be able to take the entire course. The only version currently available for the Apple Store is the four point two version. So if you don't have Xcode already, you're going to have to go ahead and upgrade to Mac OS X ten point seven or later before you go ahead and get the Xcode tool. Installation is very easy, of course, it will go ahead and install just about automatically once you download it from the store. Be aware the download is a really long one. Um, this is one you might want to start overnight on a high-speed connection, walk away and come back later and uh, see if it's done. You'll see the size is 1.68 gigabytes. That's one of the longest downloads that you're going to have. So once you have it downloaded and installed, you can run it and you're going to see a menu that looks like this. So if you see this menu and you see version 4.2, you know you did everything right and you're ready to create your first Objective-C program. I don't think anyone would disagree that learning a new programming language is challenging. What I've noticed from all of my teaching, and I teach programming all over the country in classrooms with as little as three or sometimes as many as 15, 20 people, and also I teach online, is that the students who are successful are students who enter all the code as I type it out for them. So while I type in code, and you'll see me type code in Xcode on my screen, go ahead and enter the same code on your screen. Sometimes it's helpful to take this course with two monitors and have my video on one screen and your own version of Xcode open in the second. I recommend you pause frequently, enter the code, and make sure it works before moving on. That's one of the ways you're going to remember and understand all of the concepts in the course. Good luck, and I'll see you in class.